How y'all doing? It's time for another diecast flashback. And this time, we have a dinky. This is an Oldsmobile 6 sedan. Dinky made this from 1946 to 1952. But they also made it from 39 to 40. The same car. Now, this one has been repainted. They didn't do too bad a job, honestly. But they repainted the base, and I can't tell if it's an earlier one or a later one. The, the ones after World War II were painted black, and the, world, the ones before, for two years, they were just, they were lacquered. They had a, just a lacquer finish, so I can't tell. So I'm going to assume that this is a post-war. Anyway, still a good-looking little car. Got a lot of different colors to choose from. On these, I like to do two-tone ones, so I'm more than likely... They, ha they made one that was dark blue fenders and light blue body, and I may go that route. And a little bit of detailing on this. Let's see. Let's get you in here a little bit, and you can see a little bit more... Clo a little get closer shot of it. Just a single casting with the tin base. And what holds the base on are the axles to the wheel of the wheels. Now, it's got both of them are pinched over. You can see that. So what I've done is I've already pinched them. What I do, a lot of people just cut them off. And you could do that, you know. Uh, but like I say, I always try to save as much of it as I can. And I found that I can use, let's back up here. Well, let's first look at the base. And it says, Dinky Toys Oldsmobile. All righty. So, what I do, now I've got probably about a 95% success rate at this, is I take these fence pliers. That's a big old honking pair of pliers. And I pinch those, uh, the tips of the axles, I pinch them together. And I use this piece right here. And I put that in there and I squeeze it, pinch it together. And like I say, nine times out of 10, when you go to put them back on and pinch it in the opposite direction, it'll flare back out. And it'll look, it'll look normal. So that's the way I try to do it. So this one, uh, I've done several of these type models. They made a, they made a lot of uh, models of these uh, cars from the 30s. I believe this one is about a 1935 or 1936. They did some grill changing, and they also changed the back, the boot, in 36. Uh, no windows. So anyway, I did get the I did take this apart. The uh I pinched them. Let's see if I can get them apart here. Let's see. There it goes. There's one. Just a regular casting. Uh and it looks like this one might have been a blue one because it is blue. They're blue on the inside. The hubs are. They're just rusty. You can, I can get that cleaned up. Tires are in good shape. I did the front one. There it goes. That's a that's a turnout pretty good. Let's see if I can get that other one off. There we go. Great little pair of pliers right here. These are channel locks. And they're adjustable. And man, I use these things more than any tool I got. So there you go. Inside. It looks like it had some blue in it. I'm not real sure, but anyway. And then the base, the bottom, it's not too bad. It's got some rust on it. Nothing that evapor rust can't get off. And it's in pretty good Pretty good nick, pretty good shape. Well, as always, I'd like for you to 
stick around and, oh, let me show you something. I got this at the flea market. This is from the mid fifties. It's a cap gun. It's made by Hubley. Now Hubley is known to make uh, little toy soldiers and they made a lot of die cast. And uh, this one's called Smokey. It's got a lot of nice little detailing on it. That's pretty cool. I cleaned it up. Uh, the ones that uh, you bought it as a kid, I think they were painted. They were painted silver. I had a little bit of silver on it, but I just cleaned it up and polished it up. Made it look pretty good. Got a little bull on the handle there. I used to love playing with those things. Anyway, I uh, hope you stick around to the end, see how it turns out. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you would wouldn't wouldn't care to. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Got the body cleaned up. <clears throat> Got the paint, everything off the hubs. This is the way I load it up to, to paint them on my helping hands. And the base. Now this thing I'm pretty sure was lacquered. Because after I got that black hand painted stuff off of it, that back right there, look at that. That's lacquer. I cleaned the front of it. So that makes this one a 3940 before pre-war. That's awesome. Got some pitting right here. You see that. That gives it character. Looks pretty good though. The body, I got all the, <clears throat> everything cleaned up on it. I just can't resist. I got rid of all those casting lines, made it look right, nice and smooth. There's lines on the headlights and on the on the back end, above, there was like they, where they put it together. Now there's still a line on the license plate, but I'm gonna put a license plate a sticker on it, a license plate decal to cover that up. <clears throat> but it looks pretty good. This is actually a 1935 model. But it looked pretty good. Two-tone. I'll do the original colors, the dark blue and light blue. And I cleaned up the axles. Got the rust off of them. They were really bad. They look good. And the tires, I was able to... Uh, I had to throw one away, but three of them are good. And I had some other old ones, and these are all original tires. Got them cleaned up. They look good. Well, on to the paint booth. I hope you guys can see this. Uh, I got it taped off to paint. I'm going to paint the, that dark blue. The fenders on that. So I'm going to mix up some paint. I use uh, Tester's enamel paint. It's about the closest you're going to get to original factory paint. Put a little in there and get a paper towel. That should be enough. Put a little thinner in it. Mix her up. Use my popsicle sticks. want to get it mixed up to where it kind of roll off the walls of the cup. That's when you know it's thin enough. That little jar of paint right there, man, you wouldn't believe how many cars I can paint with that. Lots. And you just, you just kind of get the feel, the feel for it.
I think that's good. Now, let's see. That goes my air compressor. I don't know if you can see this, but I'm gonna mix it in my paint cup right there if I can get that camera. I'm not gonna need nowhere near that much paint, but it's reusable. Just put it back in the jar. Cap it off. Oh yeah, a good flow. All right, let's move you around. Let's see where to go now. Oh, here, hang on a minute. Bring this over here. Set that on there. There you go. Let's see. Oh, that'll work. Okay. Let me get a glove on. see let me make sure i got you where i where you can see it there you go might be a little loud i turn the fan on put a light coat on that That's coat number one. Always put three coats on. So there's coat number one. And when we meet again, we'll put it together. Okay, it's assembly time. I'm going to try to do this on camera <clears throat> with these... Uh, pinched axles so i went ahead and put a little protection on there just in case because this has got to go on there first just like that and then the axles will go underneath it so let's pick the good side of these uh, wheels. That one looks good. Pretty sure these axles are the same length. And they are. I'll feed them through there. Just like that. And take this big honking thing and see if I can't get that. Well, I guess I better put the wheel on there first, shouldn't I? There's a good one. All right. Now, let's just see. I'm going to try to keep you in the picture, but I don't know. We'll see. Whoops. There we go. All right. Now, like I mentioned before, you just pinch this in the opposite direction, and it should spread apart. So here we go. Let 
Not yet. I think I'm gonna have to do the the side here. Let's see. Be just bear with me. We'll get there. Let's get it right there. Okay, now you see I got it in the jaws. Now you just gotta give it a good squeeze. And there it is. I believe that's got it. No. Try again. We'll get it. Like I said, this is something I generally don't do on the camera. Let's try again. Mm. Let's see what that did. Yeah, that was better. I'm just not getting a good... Let's try something else. I had a real good pair, and I can't find them. Isn't that terrible? <clears throat> okay, that got it. I got it that time. Now, let's do the other one. Let's get the tape off of that one. Hopefully that didn't pull any paint off. No, it didn't. All right. Maybe we'll have a little bit better luck with this one. Let's see. I think his size better. See, even the, it even comes past. Oh, that's a good side. Let's just try the, these little ones. See what they do. First time. Almost. Never say never, right? Let's do one little bit more. That got it. Did more, more with the little pair than that big old pair. Okay. All right. That's good. Let's get the tires on there. Baby, let's get it out there.
you know what? That's moved on me. There we go. That base shifted a little bit. Let's get a good side here. Okay, and the last one. There we go. There we go. How's, how's that look? Turned out pretty good. Did a little bit extra detailing on it. Couldn't help myself. I, I, I always say I'll just do it original, but I, I did paint it original colors. Well, there we go. Well, hope y'all enjoyed that video. Be sure to like and subscribe if you see what you like. And I'll see you next time with another diecast flashback. Now that's a flashback. Have a good one.